Hey Stampers, Gainer again. Um, I've been playing with a new, uh, new stash that came this morning and I've done the videos to show you everything from the premiere and uh, today's haul. Hope you enjoy them. Um, I'm playing with free stuff basically. 90% of it's free. Uh, I'll show you the card first. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's my husband's phone. <laughs> Um, this is the new Heartfelt, and it's out of the celebration catalogue that you'll be able to earn next, uh, in January. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's beautiful, thank you. Loving the font. Isn't that beautiful? But this, what a gorgeous, it's massive. It's absolutely huge. This is the size, and it's on, um, an e-block. That's how big it is. Uh, and I've... I'm using the Tutti Fruity cards and envelopes that you can also earn free. They come in Daffodil Delight, Pool Party, uh, Calypso Coral and Lemon Lime Twist. And I'm down to my last. I'm using Lemon Lime Twist. This one I did in Pool Party and Bermuda Bay. Uh, this one I'm going to be doing in the Lemon Lime Twist and Old Olive. Just those colours just pop together absolutely beautifully. I think that's stunning. This, believe it or not, is from this gorgeous set you've seen me use. It's the Petal palette. And it's a just a little um, tag um, die that was in that set. And I thought, wow, I love the edges on that. So I'll pre-cut one out ready because... My back this morning when I got up was hell. So I'm not picking up no big shots today. So I've cut two out ready. Um, so yeah, you can grab things from different sets, put them together, different colours even, and just come up with something wow. And I think this is beautiful. I've used the sequins. They're not free and all the rhinestones. But the ribbon, that was free. But obviously I'm going to be using the ribbon from the Petal Garden. This is the Petal Garden we had. Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm trying to look for the set. I think it was Petal Garden. And this beautiful ribbon can... It is in the occasion. In the catalogue here. Um, let me see, Petal Garden, yeah, there, and it comes in that suite there, and I'm using the old olive there. But the other card, basically, is, this was free, the stamp was free, the ribbon was free, I snagged this from another, uh, obviously, and the cards and envelopes, absolutely stunning. What a gorgeous card to give someone. I'm going to be making thank you cards for my lovely ladies and uh, my beautiful friends. Uh, so, and I used the, the pool party stick and uh, adhesive back sequins. And I'm going to use the lemon lime twist ones wherever I can find them. I've cut them down somewhere. And, oh, there they are. Uh, I'm going to be using them ones, contrasting. With little rhinestones, and I'm going to be stamping in old olive as well. But what an adore! Wouldn't that be lovely? How beautiful is that card? Absolutely gorgeous. Loving this. Absolutely beautiful. So let's get going. Oh my gosh, it's probably going to be quite quick actually because um, I don't know. It's just lush. So we don't need those for a moment. We're not going to stick this down yet because when we glue this together after our ribbon's gone down, I'm going to pop it on dimensionals. So I just need the white pieces at the moment. I'm going to fetch in a piece of scrap. Um, my old olive is here. <coughs> oh, I do apologise. But it's mad. I was stamping up. I can these wonderful colours and how they go together uh, with other colours and just wonderful. I'm loving the fact that they take all the guessing out of it for you. It's absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to get this as straight as I can. Oops. I 
make him join it up well. And I'm just going to try and get this in the center. Oops. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving the colours. They're just so beautiful. Look at that. Look at the edge on that little tag. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving this. So we can pop that to one side. And now we can we can ink up this beautiful uh, flower. So if I show it a little bit on there. But I'm going to ink the stamp and not stamp the ink. I love it. And in fact, I'm going to make sure I've got it well inked up. Oh, what I did as well with the other thing, I just dipped into the card, uh, the ink, to give that lovely little edge. Just to pop it off the page against the white. And I thought it looked really effective. Because you don't want to just plain white on white, I just dipped it into the ink. And it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. This can be drying while uh, whilst I'm stamping this beautiful image. Now I'm just gonna go pop this and I'm just that's why I'm using scrap because I'm gonna come off the edge. Get as much as I can on. But also I'm going to keep my hands down for about 5 to 10 seconds so the ink transfers onto the cardstock. Shall we have a look? This is the time now you need the stumper, stumperatus. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Oh, it's turned out lovely. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Love this. Oh my, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I will pop that over the way. I'll clean those stamps later. Oh my word. I love it. I've got a little bit of a dot there. I had the same on the other card. This is why I ran the ribbon through the centre. So I'm going to add a bit of fast fuse. And Just going to pop my ribbon all the way around. Oops. A little bit long, but uh, oh, and a bit a little bit loose. I'm thinking I got that in the wrong place. <laughs> And I haven't added enough fast views, that's what it was. I couldn't get it in the right place. So let's see if that's the right place. No. There we are. That's better. And I want it pulling just a little bit tight. I can adjust this in a moment before I snip the ends off. I just want to make sure it's pretty level. That looks great. That looks great. And I can snip this off now. Don't need all that on there. That was about eight inches. I said you probably need about seven. Um, even if it's even if it's a little bit too high, you can always pull it down. 
Isn't that beautiful? So, wow, I'm going to attach it to the card and then I'm going to make the bow. But if you were making these as thank you cards to go inside a little gift box, or you know the little bag I made the other day, and the paper bag, and you could pop, say, four or five thank you cards. And these are perfect size. These cards actually are four and a quarter by five and a half. They're the American size cards. So I'm just leaving a little board all the way around. Absolutely wonderful. Perfect. See, and I can still, it doesn't need moving, but I've still got the ability to move my ribbon if needs be. So, I'm going to pop that and fetch my little bow maker in. This is my third video of the day, actually, so I am a bit shattered. Um, plus, with putting all my gear, everything away a little earlier after showing everybody. And I'm only doing the tiniest, tiniest little bow. You don't really need something mega huge. Because this, you don't want to take away from this. But you want to add a little bit of style. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. In fact, that way looks even better. Oof. Because I've put all my ribbon in those little trays now, I can't keep them attached. I You get these new ribbons through Celebration as well, and this is like an eighth half a centimeter and i think that one is uh no that one's half centimeter that one's three eighths so you've got one eighth three eighths and half a centimeter and they're all shimmering ribbon aren't they beautiful and they can be earned free from the celebration as well and you know me and my little tub so i'm going to grab a glue dot I'm just going to fold this in half and I'm going to pop it on the back and I'm just going to add, see, I'm going to add it to the end of my image there, isn't that beautiful, absolutely stunning, I'm going to have, we're going to have so much fun with this new, uh, stuff that's coming out so as you can see i'm going to be adding dimensionals to this also and i'm going to be doing some to the back of my card so i'm, just, I'm using the end pieces and don't let them go to waste Definitely not, that's plenty. So I'm going to pop, in fact, I'm going to pop this on dimensionals first. Just making sure. They're going to have to go around. Don't waste none of these bits. Perfect. Oops, they're diving back out the tray at me. I don't want to go in. <laughs> so I'll just peel these off. I think I'm going to have an early night tonight. I'm shattered. I haven't done much either. <laughs> so now we fetch this beautiful card in. And like I say, these are going to be free in the celebration as well. Nice little border. Doesn't the colour contrast there with those two colours pop off that page? They're absolutely stunning. Love them. 
You can so mix and match your colours. They're fantastic. Absolutely amazing. I'm just going to pop this. And gorgeous. I love it. Love, love, love. What a great impact on a card for just two images, really, when you think about it. Absolutely stunning. So, right, I'm going to fetch these beautiful uh, sequins in as well. And they're going either end. Add one in the centre of this beautiful flower. They'll be available in the new catalogue as well. And I'm just going to pop a tiny little rhinestone in the centres of each one. Oh my word. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely love it. There's our envelope to match. I'm going to be... Whoops, I'm going to get a few of these ready, actually, over the next uh, couple of weeks. And these are going to my gorgeous girls. How are... What do you reckon to them? I am absolutely loving the fact that we can add extra colour. Uh, I'm sorry it's a quick one, but uh, I'm tired. Uh, a thumbs up, a share, that would be amazing. And don't forget to press the subscribe, the blah, 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 subscription button in the corner <laughs> and the little bell straight away. That way you'll be notified of all future videos, which tends to be every day. But look at the impact. Just, I love them both. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Absolutely love it. And my rhinestone has moved from the centre there. That's better. I hope you liked watching me do these cards. Uh, and until next time, um, I will see you all soon. Love you all. Bye.